very slowly too. I don't want to cut myself. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> this is not slow. I... Let's unscrew and try it out. <laughs> and I don't think real fuses glow like that. How about 10 amps? Take... Ah! Now we just connect it up and engrave. Quick, I need a piece of wood. Oh, sh could use some terminal blocks to hold the wires. The thing is a little bit too wide. We should make it sharper. I can just plug into the wall. Okay, there we are. Where the f is it? Shit is melted. Oh, sh It's getting there. Oh my god! Oh! Bunch of safety tips on my website. But such experiments are not worth dying for. So don't do it. Let's just celebrate like normal people with oversized sparklers. Well, on the ballasts, they show the wiring. Well, basically, the way the ballast works is that first. You tie its input ah! oh, Makes you wonder why the fuse went to start with. Oh, sh Oh, come on. Get. We shall plug it in and measure the voltage unloaded. Oop. With the capacitor connected. See, it doesn't arc anymore because I think the capacitor is loading the output voltage and reducing it. So I have to bring the contacts further close. Oh, sh Plug in. There you go. Now we have a brighter LED. Uh, the resistor is smoking too much though. Nope. <laughs> Let's get them to glow. These lights won't fit my light socket, so I'll connect them using my alligator clip. Turn it off. Doesn't glow at all. Ah, whatever. It's not made for my socket anyway. Ooh, <laughs> hey, look at this! Sh it didn't shock me. Yeah, no. What? Look at this. It's glowing. It kills your device. Let's buy one to try. It's $218. Forget about it. If I ever want to kill something, I have my own ways. For a dollar or two. Never try this, of course. Very dangerous. It is illegal to destroy other people's properties. But this is my wife's computer. Mine, hers, what's the difference? To make sure it kills, but it can't erase your data. Like if police raids my home and I want to quickly get rid of my tax fraud data from my computer, it doesn't help. Not that I have such data. St. Rose incident. A former student of the College of St. Rose pleaded guilty to destroying 59 computers at the college using a USB killer. So far it's only his mixtape on this. Ooh, let's hear it out. Backwards. Backwards again. Hurry up, caveman. There we go. <laughs> it was a prank, man. You're such an idiot. You plug anything into your computer, now it's gone. <laughs> you should see the look on your face right now. But I trusted you. It was just a prank, bro. Don't beat yourself up for your stupidity. My life's work was on this computer. Eh, don't worry. It kills your USB port and likely your motherboard. What won't erase your data? Ah, then we are good. High five. Yeah, unless you have solid state drive memory, that is. Okay, here are a for device. So never try them on anything. And remember, it's illegal to use any of these to damage other people's properties. You have already seen my 120 volt to USB converter. It probably burns everything in your computer and sets your battery on fire and eventually burns your whole house down. Very effective. Oh, you want something more? Torn my old camera apart to flash capacitor. These babies can hold hundreds of volts and output short pulses of 100 amps. Now take a full bridge rectifier and solder a power plug to its AC lines. Then solder the flash capacitor to the DC output of the rectifier, minding its polarity. Then solder only the USB data lines to the DC output across the capacitor. Now it's ready to go. You just plug it into the power line, it charges right away and you can unplug. Then you charge... <laughs> yup, 
it is holding close to 170 volt DC so we better isolate the circuit vigorously with a lot of electric tape okay let's plug it in and listen for it there you go the capacitor discharges over your motherboard and kills a few things oh you want it to be battery operated now huh? too bad I guess we could use the same camera to charge the capacitor but I totally broke it now yeah I'm back with four disposable cameras charges up to 300 volts this stupid flash capacitor is still charged let's discharge it first before touching it the flash to charge and then you close these two to make it flash Ow, my eyes <laughs> why it zaps you when you press the trigger a very cool trick to end a few friendships here it is and this is a tiny transformer that's like a car ignition coil and this is the chip that turns the transformer on and off let's measure the output look at this pulses over in this junk as a tester is like selling a bomb to test your house against earthquake my laptop has been overheating and shutting down for a while now and I blamed it on summer and global warming where you ever close your monitor you better buy a new cable or computer in some other cases your connectors like USB could have been broken off the board and usually you can solder them back on the board and and here is the cooling system responsible for cooling the system Hitly broke two of its blades it's a 5 volt fan so I'll connect it to my 5 volt supply and it doesn't turn so fortunately the problem is the fan not the motherboard let's tear it apart these blades are super fragile you can see here that this is the magnet in the rotor and these are the electromagnets that turn the fan and the control circuit is somewhere under that PCBA <sighs> never mind it's broken anyways well I fixed it even I am often surprised by the extent of for a month what am I a savage if you hadn't wasted your laptop on your stupid videos it wouldn't die what are you talking about I have a lot of viewers and good fans why won't you shove one of your fans in your laptop and fix it <laughs> you're good Shut up. Wait, place it on the intake with the fan blowing towards the laptop and I hot glue it in place from my trusty power supply and voila good as new now to improve the airflow it's better to raise the laptop don't put your hand in a running fan the white LED in the microwave and see if it turns on under the energy of the microwave oh, oh no my LED is burnt it would be half the wavelength of the waves in the chamber between the secondary and the body of the microwave I just put a wire in here to kickstart the arc founding father of our modern society without it we would fall back to the steam engine dark ages people suffering in cold months <laughs> loose wires avoid them you just stick it to a DC voltage hey hey calm your shaft shaft I said calm your shaft initially the lights will be off or on I guess if I turn on the circuit, it. Did I misconnect something? Well, yeah, this component is getting hot. In the app, you can swipe the image and see what's underneath. It is a capacitor. Stanley Park. 